On this video, you're going to learn how to set up and connect a fisheye camera. This is only for UniView MBRs and UniView IP cameras using an external PoE switch. The following steps are the same if you connect the fisheye camera to the back of the MBR's PoE ports. So now let's begin. This is my fisheye camera and I have just one network cable or ethernet cable connected into the PoE switch. Then the other cable is connected to the uplink. The uplink, it is connected into my router. In this case, it could be your client's network, your home network, connected into any available ports. Then I have another cable from the router that goes directly into my MBR LAN connection. Now, if you have the fisheye camera, you can connect that directly into the PoE port on the back. One fisheye camera can give you five channels. It will take five channels on the screen, keep that in mind. And it only works with the MBRs 302 series and up. So now, let's begin with the configuration on the MBR system. Now on your MBR, simply right click, go into the menu, type in the default password, 123456. It may ask you to change it. If you want to, you can do that. In this video, which is going to select no. Now, let's add the fisheye camera. We're gonna go under camera, and the fisheye will automatically obtain an IP address from your network because it is by default on DHCP. This is the fisheye camera. Now, let's add the fisheye camera to channel number one. We're going to click under the configure and then instead of having plug and play because we do not have the fisheye camera connected plug and play we are going to select manual. Once we select manual the fisheye camera IP address is on the top. So click that and just click OK. Now it's going to ask you which stream you want to add. Just select stream number one. Just click OK and then the fisheye will appear here in a couple of seconds. Once you see this blue circle means the fisheye is already added to channel number one. If you click that is the preview. Let's exit the menu just to double check. Double click on it and this is your fisheye. Now let's go back into the menu and add the other channels. You go back into the menu, select camera and then we are going to do the same steps for the other channels but before we do that click on the top to see the fisheye settings then you see right here the settings of the fisheye you can click edit and select how the fisheye is mounted the wall ceiling in this location i have it on the desktop and then the fisheye mode meaning how many channels and in what order I would like it. Right now I have fisheye which is 360 degree, panoramic 180 and 180 and then PTZ 1, 2 and 3. Meaning I have EPTZ like electronic PTZ on each channel. Let's just select this and just select exit. Now let's go back and add in the other channel. I go to channel number two and I do the same thing as I did in channel number one. I select manual, select the same fisheye address and now automatically it goes to number two. I can do number three, four, five or and so on. Let's just add number two and just click OK. Now let's go into channel number three and do the same steps. Manual, select the fisheye IP address, click OK, and then it 
it automatically will select the channel. Let's just click OK. Now let's go into channel number 4. We do the same thing. Select the fisheye IP, click OK, and it will select the automatic. This is not the channel, I'm sorry, this is the stream. Meaning the first stream is fisheye, the second one is panoramic, and the third one is PTZ 1, 2, and 3. So this is the stream number 4. And now on the fifth channel, we do the same thing. And select OK. Once you see all of these uh, circles in blue, the fisheye has been already successfully been added. You can click and just double check that is added. Or you can exit the menu and you will see all your fisheye channels. The EPTZ, I will show you guys in a minute. This is the 360 degrees fisheye. It's on a desk. This is the 180 meaning the front and the back uh, it is still on a desk and then the EPTZ you have the option to just select the PTZ control and then move to whatever uh, location you want to set it goes the same for the third fourth and fifth channel Let's just go into the next channel so you guys can see. I moved it. <laughs> yeah, so that is how you add the fisheye camera into the Uniview MBR.